What is up guys? Today we have the Small Robot Tank C1 cordless robotic pool cleaner here and this is another great value pool cleaner. So before we get into this review, I want to mention that I am sponsored for this cleaner here. They did send this to me for free and I agreed to a free review as long as I'm able to include features that I like and features that I don't like if any. Also keep in mind that this is how this cleaner works in my pool back here. You have a different pool. It might work better. It might work worse in your pool, but just keep an open mind. Overall, I still hope this review helps. So the Smartbot Tank C1 here is a great value pool cleaner, but don't let the word value fool you. Don't think that because it's a value that it doesn't do well. It's quite the contrary. It does pretty well in the pool at a very good price tag. For the amount of features that you get in this cleaner here, for it being cordless, it does a really great job. It'll clean the floors of your pool, it'll climb walls in your pool, and it will scrub the water line in your pool, which is usually associated with premium higher end models. It's really great that for a value cleaner, it's included on this cleaner here. So what makes the Smartbot Tank C1? What makes it a good choice? Well, let's go ahead and talk about it here. First off, it's designed for pools up to 2,500 square feet. So you can use this in some pretty big pools. Now, physically, this cleaner comes in at about 19 pounds, which is pretty lightweight. Anything under 20 pounds, I consider a lightweight cleaner. Means that it's easier to take in and out of the pool. Now, this is a completely cordless design here. This means that it works off of a 7,800 milliamp rechargeable battery. So it means it takes roughly two and a half hours to fully charge this. And when you use this continuous runtime, you will get up to two and a half hours worth of use pretty good amount of time to run the cleaner. Now physically, this right here, this is a really nice handle. It's ergonomically designed to grip better as opposed to other cleaners that are more thinner out of the way. So this is really nice. It has more space to grip. On the front of this over here, this right here, this is actually an LED status indicator. And this lights up different colors based off of what it's doing. When it's in the pool, it'll be white. When it's moving forwards or backwards, the lights on the side will light up. When it's turning to the left over here, it'll actually signal to turn left. When it's turning to the right, it'll signal to turn right. So it's a really cool little kind of turn indicator like you're driving a car in the pool. So that's cool. Also, this indicator will show you the battery level and it's just a really nice feature on this cleaner here. So this right here, this is how you turn the cleaner on. You power it to these two modes here. There's the S mode and F mode. F mode is your floor only mode, focuses just on the floors. And S mode is your standard mode. This is your floors and walls of your pool, including your water line. So you get two modes out of the box here. Awesome. Let me go ahead and show you this here. These huge track style wheels here. And this is really great to climb steep walls. Now, I do want to mention if you have slopes in your pool, if you have a slope that's greater than about 15 degrees, it will kind of struggle to get across that slope. So keep that in mind. It's better suited for 90 degree steep walls as opposed to slopes with an angle greater than 15 degrees. So if it means that you have a few slopes in your pool that are about 15 degrees or greater, it will miss it in some cases and you will have to scrub that. So keep that in mind. Now, let me actually lift this up here and show you this right over here. You can see it's got two dual front scrubbers here. So this should be more than enough power to knock loose all your debris. At the bottom right here, you have this large inlet for debris to be suctioned into right here. Now, let me flip this around here and show you that this is an easy access top loading debris basket right over here you can see this is a handle right here and you got to keep in mind how to open this you don't just kind of pull up and open it what you want to do is you want to pull out first just like that you see how it opens first before you're lifting it pull it out and then pull it open just like that if you're going to try to open it just like this it's hard you'll break it so you want to pull it out first again just like that like a little lid and then pull it open just like that to reveal your debris basket here this is a four liter debris basket, a fine filter debris basket here. Really big, more than enough size to capture a lot of debris before you have to empty it out. This will do well for about 90% of all sorts of debris, your small, medium, large size debris, your leaves, your twigs, your stones, even some sand and dirt, it'll pick this all up. However, if you get a lot of really, really fine debris, if you get a lot of dust in your pool, a lot of sand, a lot of cloudy and milky water, even that dead green algae in your pool, you will need an ultra fine filter to filter that out. And unfortunately, this is only a regular fine filter, but just keep that in mind. Finally, over here on the side right here, you have a charging port here. You want to open this up here. It does come with a charging port adapter that you plug in the charge. Every time you're about to use this cleaner, you want to make sure you close this tight so that no water gets into that outlet there. 
built inside of this cleaner here is three powerful motors so it'll clean really well and be more efficient yes but it also has smart navigation and path planning so this means that when you place it into the pool depending on if it's cleaning the floors or walls of your pool it'll move in a preset pattern along that route when it encounters a wall a pole whatever it is it will adjust to it and navigate around it as opposed to previous smart navigation systems where when you push a button to turn it on and place it into the pool it'll take you 15 20 30 minutes to map and scan your pool first and then it'll start taking off and cleaning the pool these newer smart navigation systems with the path planning are much more efficient it starts cleaning right at the start now another cool feature about this cleaner here is that when it's done with its cleaning cycle it'll park itself closest to the wall next to it so that you're able to take the fishing hook that you have the little retrieval hook that comes in the box and attach it to your pole and just fish it out so it's easy to take out of the pool an auto park system this small robot tank c1 here works really well as a simple plug and play type of cleaner so what do i mean by that i mean a type of cleaner where you charge it and all you do is you flip the switch to turn it on select your mode put it into the pool let it clean and once it's done you take it out and you charge it and get it ready for the next time every time you want to use it that's all you have to do works really well and simple that way because of that, it does not have a weekly timer, no scheduled weekly timer, meaning you can't set it to turn on once, twice, three times in a week. You have to turn this on and take it out every single time you use it and you're done using it. So just keep that in mind. In addition to that, being a simple cleaner here, if you're in the market for a cleaner with a ton of bells and whistles, you want Wi-Fi, you want an online app, Bluetooth, you want to be able to control your cleaner through your phone and get notifications, this cleaner does not have that. It's not marketed towards that. It's a simple plug and play cleaner. If you're in the market for all those smart features, you want to take a look at a different type of cleaner. So we talked a lot about this Smorbot Tank C1 here. Let's finally place it into the pool and I'll show you how well it works. Okay, guys, we're ready to put the Tank C1 into the pool here. But I do want to mention you have to do one more step here. Unlike other cordless cleaners where all you have to do is turn it on and then put it into the pool. This one here requires you to calibrate it before putting it into the pool. It's not a big deal. It's not very hard at all. And how you do that is you want to place your cleaner on a flat surface. I just have it on the edge over the pool over here and all you do is turn it on and you select the mode that you want i'm just going to select the standard mode and now you can see the led indicator light up here and what you want to pay attention to it you'll see that the yellow indicator will start to blink just take a look there you notice it is blinking now so this means that it's ready to be put in the pool so you grab your cleaner now and you put it into the pool now don't just let go of it. You want to actually submerge it. So you want it to go down. You notice all those bubbles right there. You want to actually hold on to it until all those bubbles disappear. And then now that it's done, now you can just drop it into the pool there. It'll sink down to the bottom, eventually turn on and start working. Now you can see that it's sitting at the bottom of the pool. It will take about a minute or two before it turns on. So let's just watch here and it should turn on. and there it goes right there so right off the bat if you take a look right there i've got a main drain right there and it goes it hits the main drain and it kind of backs off right there so that's one thing to take note of in my pool my main drains are a little bit bigger than usual but not as big as other people's main drains you see i have two of those there if you have a main drain that is greater than 1.7 inches it will not climb over that so keep that in mind over here, you see the small bot cleaning the pool right here. It's cleaning the floors right now. Again, it's on standard mode. And I have a very tall ledge right over here. You can see it kind of hit it and go back and forth here, deciding on whether or not it will climb my ledge here. Finally, you see that? It's climbing up my ledge right here. This is my tanning ledge over here. You see that? It goes all the way over here and it's able to reach the top of my tanning ledge right over here. All the way up to my water line right here. So that's awesome. And there it goes, scrubbing the water line of the pool here. And this is the water line above my little tanning ledge over here so that's awesome it's able to reach this over here for a value cleaner that's pretty impressive love the lights there you see the lights right there awesome
So right here you can see the tank C go up to my kind of corner of my tanning ledge and it kind of struggles right here. It's not going to climb up because it doesn't have enough traction on the sides here. It will climb up the bigger part of my tanning ledge but only if it hits it at the right angle. This one is definitely not enough traction for it to put both of its tracks on the side as you can see it is a corner here but eventually it'll back down and stop that's the end of its cycle along the wall and right here you can see it's not moving and this is normal because it will pause for about a minute a minute and 20 seconds before it starts the wall cleaning mode again watch and right here you can see it's starting to turn again so the mode is being activated again so it's going to start moving now it does that every single fourth turn on standard mode while it's cleaning the walls now it's moving along the floors and it should adjust right over here okay guys take a look there's my main drain again right there let's see how it goes over the main drain goes over it no issues remember if you have a main drain that's about 1.7 inches or taller it will not go over it so keep that in mind right here you can see the s'more bot kind of hit the steps of my pool I have very kind of steep steps this is about only a foot here and depending on how it hits it if it hits it at the corner just like the tanning ledge if it hits it at a corner it doesn't have enough traction to climb up you can see it's struggling to kind of get enough traction to try and climb up I've seen it climb up the steps before but only if it hits it with both tracks straight head on not at a corner this is why it's not going to climb up in this situation right here So take a look at the small bot right here. It's moving along the floors right here and it's going to climb up this wall here. I can predict the pattern here. Now watch it climb up the wall. I'm five foot tall up here on this wall here and it's able to climb all the way up to the water line up here and scrub the water line. So take a look at that. Just like that. Very nice water line scrubbing right there. Really great for a value cleaner that it scrubs the water line. I'm quite impressed. Okay guys, I do want to mention, there will be periods of time when the Smorbot Tank C1 will be looking like it's stopped. Like right now, it's been sitting there for a while. And it's just kind of calculating and, pro and thinking about what it's going to do next. But don't think that it's off. You see, it's starting to move again. It will eventually start to move again. That's how it moves. That's just how it functions. Now it backs up and then goes over this direction a little bit. It'll stop. And then turn it back around towards the wall here. And that's what it does in a whole repetition. It goes up the wall, along the wall a few times, goes back down, stops for a while, and then backs back up, and then repeats that pattern all across the wall. That's the first pass up to the water line right here. You see what I mean? It's going to go back down, but not go all the way down to the floor here. Watch, it'll stop when it hits the floor of the back of it. Like that. Now it's going to kind of curve. And then turn back up and go up this direction, up this way a little bit. You see that? And then climb up the water line again. Scrub the water line right there. It'll go back down again along the wall. And again, the back of it will hit the floor, but not go completely all the way down. You see that? And it's going to try to climb up the wall again, moving along this direction right here along the wall. Like that. Scrub it. And now in this run right here, it should go all the way down past the floor. Watch. You see that? Now it's backing back down past the floor right here. Now it looks like it's stopped here. 
So I'm going to sit here and take a look. It looks like it's powered off, but it's just calculating for its next run along this side of the wall over here. It repeats this pattern when it's along the walls of your pool in standard mode. And now it's starting to move again. There you go. Right there. It's going to stop right there and then turn this direction. Stop. Move forward over here. And then stop and then turn around this direction stop and then repeat the pattern that's the pattern i'm talking about when it's climbing walls okay guys so the small robot has now switched over to the floor here so now it's cleaning the floors of the pool here you can see it move along the floors it moves in a pattern along the floors here just take a look Now, I do want to mention, this is still on standard mode, but in standard mode, it does switch itself off to the floors at the second half of the actual run cycle. Backs into the wall, doesn't climb, and then it's going to go forward over to this direction right here. Stop when it hits the wall, doesn't climb in this mode, now it's focusing just on the floors. Here's a look at the floor mode main drain cleaning here. So pay attention to how it reacts. Now remember, it's focusing on the floors. But it goes over it. Right on top of it there. Remember, it's not using the power to climb up walls. In there, now it's going to reach my second main drain and do the same thing. And that's how it gets around main drains when it's cleaning the floor modes here. All right, let me pull this out. Let that water drain turn this off right over here. Now, let me take this out here and show you the debris basket back here. Now, I do want to point out my pool was pretty clean to begin with. I usually always run a cleaner of some sort in the pool, so it's usually pretty clean. So I'm curious to see how this filter picks it up. So right off the bat, I can see that there is debris inside right there. You can see right there finer debris, smaller debris that I couldn't see with my eye here. Take a look right here. You see that? The smaller size kind of hair like debris, there's sand in there as well. So that's awesome. Picks up smaller size debris as well. So you guys can see that the Smorobot Tank C1 here works really well in the pool. It'll clean the floors, it'll climb the walls, and it'll scrub the water line in the pool. If you're in the market for a cordless robotic pool cleaner and you don't want to pay too much, one that's a really great value that does a really great job in the pool, take a look at this Smorobot Tank C1. Definitely a cleaner here, I recommend. We hope this review helps.